<laughs> okay, I'm ready to rock and roll. It's been eight minutes of nothing. Goddamn professional. I'm a goddamn professional. All right. One more sip of beer. I'm ready. <laughs> My fuel. I'm going to be hungover tomorrow. Fuck. <laughs> Welcome to episode 22 of the Nerdcast podcast, not your regular dialogue. I go by the name of Toner, and myself and the rest of the Nerdcast crew are coming to you live slash pre-recorded from Site B. At the edge of humanity. A lot of creaking going on in here right now. Is it? Yeah, it's kind of weird. It sounds like my parents' bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> like 10 minutes before I left here. <laughs> okay. Because they were having sex with each other. I understand. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> Let's go around the horn, shall we? We got Joe Dust. What's up, girls? Big Matt. What up, my nerds? Cripple J. What's up? And Sound Guy Steve. I brought the entertainment tonight. Hit the music, Jay. Don't you remember? How could you forget the inner childhood who was behind you? Each step of the way, Malik, seven the days a week. Yeah, we messed up to say the least every now and then But now that you've let me down again Drowning in misery, history repeats by itself What must I do to remind you of the times you needed my help? Surely you didn't get all by yourself, now did you? How can you turn your back and forget to observe that that simple principle To stay modest, but now that you're burning As always the God, that song blew me away Yeah, it was really good <laughs> It made a move a little yeah. <laughs> Lori <laughs> threw her uh, bra in my face during that song, so it's all good <laughs> Panties are skewing about oh. <laughs> First ever topless podcast Yes! <laughs> As always, at this point of our show, we'd like to recognize our unofficial beer sponsor. And for that, I will turn to our official beer snob, Cripple J, to let us know who we are drinking today. All right, Joe hooked us up with some Red Hook. He brought a sampler pack. We're going to go with the Audible Ale. Uh, 77, a beer advocate score. Solid stuff. 4.7 APV. Yeah, that's why I got it. <laughs> <laughs> It'll get the job done. Actually, I just ran to Deerberg's really fast and... Grabbed a sampler pack and got ID'd and ran out. Nice. Toner, what do you think of it? Um, oh, fuck you. Go drink it. <laughs> Is that Pause. right? That's your catch. Right, it's been, right, catch been a while since I've said it. All You're right. a little rusty. Wow. That's all. You were out for a few weeks. So that's that's all right. Good. That's true. Jesus. That's true. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's get started. We actually have some special guests in the house today of the female persuasion. They are female. <laughs> yes, we have. Uh, Should we make them prove it? Yeah. Well, yeah. We're, 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 with audio or video, I don't understand what you're getting. Or pictures. Oh. Ooh. I don't need yeah. any proof. You can well, do anything on Twitter. Friday night was uh, amazing. Let's well, all right, that way. You can talk later. <laughs> all right, we got uh, Matt's wife, Jen, is here. Hey. Whoa, he, man! She sounds really good. So confused. calm down. Hey, calm oh. down. Yeah. I, How does it feel to be on your first podcast? Amazing. Is it better than sex? Maybe. <laughs> Oh. It's me or the other guy? <laughs> so I was going to say. Chavez, motherfucker. Chavez. 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 We have Steve's girlfriend, who surprisingly has not broken up with him yet. Lori is here. But by the time this podcast airs, I mean, <laughs> who knows? that's hit or miss. <laughs> right. Say so, hello, Lori. Hi, is guys. An over under? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. And we also have Lori's friend in the house. It's Ashley, correct? <laughs> Ashley. Ashley. Yeah. All right. Say hello, Ashley. Good to clarify hello. that. All right. So, Matthew. Sir. As always, I don't know what the fuck we're talking about today, so enlighten us. Well, the first thing we're going to discuss is what you did after the podcast last time we recorded. So us well, how that went, Toner. Well, I had my first beer around 12.30. Which is always a good idea. In the afternoon, yeah. And the last one around between the 9 or 10 o'clock hour. So I was fucked on he, Monday. He had about four Zimas in between. <laughs> <Zimas>. Yeah. <laughs> With the Jolly Rancher. He forgot Rancher. the Jolly Rancher. Yeah. <laughs> I drove drunk at the gas station and got some. You drove drunk? Yeah. <laughs> I can't drink zero without judge. So here's the drink. question: Did you throw up from it? No, I did not. I did not. But I felt like shit you know, all day. All day Monday was a rough day. He, he came to my desk on Monday and looked really. Rough. He looked rough. Did you actually? Did you anything? Just no, did you no. shower at all? Oh yeah, I did. Okay, I that's did. What I'm saying. Now did yeah. you go? Now did he smell like booze the next day? <laughs> I didn't get that close all to right. him. Was my mushroom <laughs> bruise still on your cheek? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Did you walk shit. funny into work? <laughs> he was walking like a cowboy in an old western. <laughs> <sighs> That's it. That's <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing. 
<laughs> what about you guys? Any, do you guys have any rough? Did you guys have a rough day? No. no. Hey, like a champ. Yeah. Yeah. What, no. g- what games did you guys play? I saw I saw the tweet from uh, from Lori over there saying that was just video that games. was Mortal Kombat trilogy. That's what you guys were playing. And then Tony decided to have a nice little uh, talk during that video, so it was good. Wait, what did you? Uh, what, oh. Oh, I yeah, was, he was busy sexting. I, that's what he said. Sexting? Yes. Yeah. Well, Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, I can't, I'm not going to say her real name because I know she, she just started listening. Uh, also, yeah, for Lee Solomon <laughs> Estes regal, yeah. legal reasons. Probably. Oh, shit. Right yeah. No, I was not sexting. Our unofficial uh, law sponsor, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. He was yeah. sexting me while I was playing video games. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, yeah. Boy, well, give him the uppercut. <laughs> <laughs> I was texting a... Uh, not not Lee Ling. He wasn't Lee Ling, right? No, I was not no, texting Lee Ling. It was a, a friend of mine in Colorado. Uh, she wishes to go by we'll uh, mailing. No, we'll no she sent me a, she sent me an alias through text. What's she the alias going to use? Cora Ravenclaw. Cora what Ravenclaw. F- that's really specific. That, yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> Is she into furries or anything? <laughs> 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 You're about to find out. Yeah. I, hopefully, can Joe and I she, watch at least? <laughs> she's the one that sent you the Cosby sweater, right? Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. You guys met her oh, back in '07. Oh, I know who oh, yeah. she is. I know who she is. Right. Now, again, for those that aren't familiar, please, what is a Cosby sweater? Oh, shit. Hold on. Where's my phone? Hold here, on. pull it up. I got to read this shit. Hold on. Let's see how many people can offend with this one. Yeah. All right. Here we go. He, Are you uh, going to do it? Yeah, I got it. Oh, you got it? Okay. Yeah. He's place. going to read it. He's not going to show us. Oh, please. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Unless if there's any willing participants. <laughs> I don't remember what it is. All right, apparently we text a lot. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, now I do, I think. Oh, yeah. Because oh, it's multicolored. We it, here we go. The Cosby sweater. It's not a refer- recent reference of Cosby, so. No. All right, you guys ready? I'm going to read it now. The Cosby sweater, according to Urban Dictionary. It's the sexual act of eating <laughs> Fruit Loops, Fruity Pebbles, Tricks, and Boo Berry, or any other bright, col- colorful breakfast cereals, and then vomiting the tacky, dazzling wow. mixture onto your partner's chest. Oh. The result should look similar to the incredible sweaters that Bill Cosby wore during his highly successful 1980 sitcom, The Cosby Show. And then you drug and rape a chick. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Holy fuck. Wow, that was good. So, ladies, are you moist? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. My Uh-oh. pants fit a little tighter than oh. the <laughs> I almost slid off my chair. <laughs> <laughs> The table did raise a little bit. That's all I'm going to say. It would only That's be a little bit. <laughs> You're also going to have to vacuum underneath my chair. I don't know what that means. I'm growing my winter coat. Oh. <laughs> Got it. Got it. <laughs> Your duck dynasty. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm out of here already. No shave 2016. <laughs> Goes from everything from top to bottom. Do we want to play that game? We want to play shaved or unshaved or on the table? (laughs) My pubes look like the top of Matt's hand right now. Jesus. What are the Jew Jew things on the side? What are those called? I'm the Jew. I I don't know. know. Oh, I I know. I need a picture of your hand for reference when we post this. (laughs) Oh, Joe and Steve, today's the first day of Hanukkah, by the way. I know. Shalom. It's sundown. I know. I'm going to check in on my Christmas tree and see if I got anything. (laughs) Probably a gift certificate to a Chinese restaurant. Yeah, yeah. probably. Oh, Jewish boy wants to see full Brocky beef. Hurry up. No, no, (laughs) no. L- Laling would not like See, we that. always try to make jokes, and then Steve makes all of them racist immediately. Yeah. They're not racist. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> they're just horrible stereotypes. Yeah. <laughs> they're oh, there's the yeah. difference between stereotypes mm. and racism. Let's go there. I wonder how or why you vote Republican. <laughs> I don't vote Republican. That's not a good call. All right. Um, he just finds them in the bathroom stalls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. Tapping their foot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what the? F- all right, what are we talking <laughs> about? It's, it started about a hangover. Then it we went start. To- well, you start with a hangover. We yeah. just kind of okay. go. They're moving we're, on. Yeah. We okay. go naturally. We slowly. It's mostly naturally. how you're old and can't hang anymore. We I can't. <laughs> dude. We were going to talk about how much pubic hair we all have at this point in the season, but oh, <laughs> <laughs> please no. <laughs> It's kind of like this right here in my beard. <laughs> yeah, if it's like your beard or Joe's. Or it's not, it's not yeah, as it great as Joe's My pubes beard. are like at the mid-season finale right now. <laughs> There's still eight episodes to go before I can like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. No. All right. On to an actual topic is what yeah, you okay, want. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. On to an actual topic. I'm not uncomfortable at all. Let's go. <laughs> oh, we we're going to talk about uh, Scott Weiland passing away. Yeah, that was the big news this week. And yeah. regards to entertainment, I guess. Well, I'll tell you what. My, three weeks how, ago. How old was he? I don't even have a clue. Forty-eight. 48. 48. Now, I'm going to throw old. a wild curveball out here. 
I'm going to say his death was not natural causes. What, does anyone well, know? Was it reported yet? I thought it wasn't being reported. They haven't before. said. He fell, they found him asleep and dead on the tour bus. What's the over-under on overdose? Oh, fuck yeah. I, mean, I, you know, I will bet $1,000. I don't know if he OD'd, but yeah, I don't I'm think sure. he OD'd. The fact that his heart Heroin was probably, for 30 yeah, years probably didn't help either. The so. fact that the needle was sticking out of his arm was probably a good indication good of what happened. Yeah. Man, you just lost all of our Stone Temple Pilots fans. <laughs> if they're shocked by this information, they can hashtag go fuck themselves. Now, is anyone here like huge Stone Temple Pilot Me and fans at all? I, mean, I like I w- their stuff. I, I, yeah. I, like I, could, I could name a song. That was one of you the first CDs I bought. Song by them? I, wow. To be honest with you, I wasn't really big into it. To be honest with you, I mean, was it the highway? Was it high, uh, what's the song? Highway. It was off the uh, Interstate Second Love Song. There, yeah. I'm sorry, off, that's, that's, that's the one I know, and I can't even name it. Core was, was one of the first CDs I bought. In, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of good ones on there. Purple, um, you got Flush, Creep, uh, Sex Type Thing, Creep, uh, yeah. Wicked oh, Garden. Name two. Flush was like the biggest. Hit for them, Lori. What was your favorite STP song? Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of one off the top of my head. All right, well, let's go around the table. Toner, what you got? Um, I really like Sex Type Thing a lot. That was that was a good song. That was yours. All right, Steve, what do you got? I'm, I'm I got a tie. I got uh, Wicked Garden off Core and then uh, Vaseline off Purple. I'll be Vaseline. different. There Vaseline go. was a good one. Now. <laughs> they made now you know they, they made two different videos for that. What's the significance of having two? I, that's I don't know. They made they made two like well, it's a, it's like the same, but there's like different pieces that they played right. different vi- the different parts of the videos. I don't know why. It just they did. All right. So all right, Joe, what do you got for your STP song? I like uh, "Hole in Your Head." Oh, it. off their little black album yeah. or whatever it was. Yeah, I don't did remember. You, did the you name, ever see them at Lala? Did they ever go up there for you? Uh, no, but I saw them with Steve. Okay, two thousand eight here in St. Louis. Yeah, I was okay. probably more wasted in Scow Island then. <laughs> <laughs> no, I at only, least at that point on, in time. No, hold on, wait, at that you, point in time, were you on something or were you just no, uh, just drinking? Just drinking but the thing game. was that night. It took him an hour and 15 minutes to get on stage. He, they were supposed yeah, to go on way, at like 8.45, 9 o'clock. They didn't start until like almost 10. For some reason, I think I remember. Because didn't they not try to interview him on the point that morning? And like even he had a hard time getting on the radio with them? Oh, he yeah, he was. Because what? He in rarely two, did. In 08, he wasn't, rarely did. In 2008, wasn't Woody still there? I, or was that he? Woody and Rizzo no. were still there. The, the, in 08? No, it was Woody and Whipping Boy in the afternoon. Oh, that's right. At, in 08, that's though? Right. That was yeah, way yeah, right. I think so. That was like so. one yeah. when he was on with Whipping Boy. But I, I, we're talking St. Louis centric stuff, so all right. Jay, what do you got for your favorite STP song? Uh, Big Empty was up there. That was the one from uh, the Crow soundtrack. Oh, How's it go? Oh, yeah, How's yeah, it go? Yeah. Someone pull that up so I can hear what um, that sounds like. Oh, I got it. Because I pretty I, much I, anything off, it was off the Crow, I would know it then. Yeah, I'll, I'll know it when I hear it. I guess. Oh, I'm drawing a blank on it. Um, I'm not like Tony. I guess would mine sing would be. It, inter- it starts most p- off with driving faster in my cars with the. Because I guess we could say interstate. Interstate would be the in interstate love song. That would be the remote. That was cr- no. That's the name of it. Yeah. yeah. All right, then I know it. Yeah, that's my. Favorite. Um, no, I changed my mind. That's my favorite then, because <laughs> I like that one a lot. See, I think some of the stuff off Core was bigger than Interstate Love Song. Okay. Like yeah. Plush. Yeah. Plush Actually, is probably their biggest. Matt Pinfield off Lithium said it was. Um, it was on the number one for seven straight weeks. Interstate Love Song was. Really? It was. I was like, that's a good song. But yeah, it was. Yeah, that's uh, a good one too. Okay, yeah, I know that one. See, I guess it's just a matter of going back and listening to all that stuff. You'll, you'll probably, you, I, I you would know a lot more of them. I know you once I hear it. All right, so hold on, Jen. What's your favorite STP song? Creep. Which one? Creep. I think it might. Why is okay. it your favorite? Oh, I just really like that song. <laughs> Thank you for your dude. She's busy p- on Pinterest or something. <laughs> I don't know what man. she's doing. I thought that Lori would be on Pinterest or something. All right, so then, who, uh, Ashley, what's your favorite I'm on STP Pinterest song? right now. <sighs> yes, I do like those ball hammocks. Stone Temple Pilots, favorite song? I don't think that I have one. Thank you for your contribution to the podcast. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, is he that Besides, sensitive because it's Hanukkah? I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> Could be. It probably is. So, <sighs> they also, he was also in Velvet Revolver. Right. Yeah, hmm. Velvet Revolver. So, there was um, a lot of good music there, too. Slither was the... That was Slither the was hardcore. That was, everybody, that was the biggest one they and had. And they played Fall to Pieces a lot on The Point. I oh, remember that one. That and then... Uh, horrendous. He, he's a, he did a solo uh, by himself. It was uh, Cleveland or something like that. You guys remember that song? At I all? remember his first solo, solo album. He did some Nothing really like, stuck out too much, though. I like though. that one. But that's just the... Uh, trials and tribulations of us. So it's Chester usage. Bennington still with Stone Temple Pilots since he kind of replaced Scott Whelan the last time he was fired. 
Chester's with them? He toured with them really? two years ago, I think. Is he singing their songs? What yeah. Oh. Except it's not like, driving faster <laughs> in my car. <laughs> a and then screaming, a lot of and then screaming yeah. as loud as you can. Yeah. 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 So uh, I guess that will kind of segue into our next topic, which would be, what's the best concert you've ever been to? Oh, oh shit. Um, so we did Bucket List last episode. <laughs> So we all know which ones we want to go see, but what's the ones that you have been to that you would say that's the best one you've ever experienced? Because I guess that's the main thing is the experience of going to it. I know I've seen Nine Inch Nails twice. Um, I think the one time a perfect circle opened for them. I don't. I can't remember what year that was. Two thousand during the Fragility tour. Oh, during the Virginity tour. It's ri- it's go. it's actually the day after me and Joe graduated in two thousand. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at that. God, that was a year away from we graduated? finishing college. <laughs> what? We graduated from yeah. something. Oh, yeah. Oh, I dropped out of college. Fuck it. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I would, go, I would go with that one. I've seen quite a bit. Um, yeah, Nine Inch Nails, I would say. And then uh, Steve is Joe Dirt. Joe? No, I'm just kidding. Steve no. <laughs> <laughs> Steve was, I saw Joe Dirt at the Bottleneck Blues Bar, and it blew me away. No. I actually am going to see them on New Year's Eve with uh, Lori. Where are and, they uh, playing? They're doing a New Year's Eve uh, special at uh, the Hilton Airport. Got a whole... You know, anyways, Nine Inch Nails and Soundgarden, Las Vegas, uh, 2014. Where are they playing? Fucking play? awesome. It was the... Uh, it was in at Planet Hollywood at the Axis. Fucking amazing. How many does that hold? About four or five thousand. That's cool. That's some more smaller venue. Yeah, but it was. I don't get me wrong. Nine Inch Nails is my favorite band, but Soundgarden sounded way better. So. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I'd probably have to go with Three Eleven. No. What? No. I am shocked. But that would be two years ago. I mean, they played for five hours again. You know, it was three eleven oh, day. They what was that on they the played cruise? For five hours? hours? Yeah, no, Jeez. that wasn't the cruise. And they, for one of their sets, they brought an orchestra up on. With where, them where was the set? Uh, New Orleans. In New Orleans okay. Yeah. In the, in the dome. Or something? Is that uh, it was where the, the like what they said. Where set. the Hornets play? Or no, I'm sorry, okay. the what are they called now? Pelicans. Pelicans. Yeah. 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 Um, that was pretty cool. But my second behind that would have to be Nine Inch Nails. Also. <laughs> I'm sorry. People just think you had My second behind that, but if I I don't want to include 311 because that's like a special event. Nine Inch Nails is just a concert would be my other one, and that was when uh, I know Steve and I were at it. It's where the, the tour where they had the it was probably what 2008 where they had the screens going in front and back of them where they had the instrumental album. Oh, the lights out. in the sky tour. Yeah, yeah that, that was one was fucking awesome. amazing. Yeah, I think that one was good. Yeah. Steve and I made out during that show. I can understand. We almost tried to finger each other's butt, but we said Did no. you cuddle? Well, we were wearing underwear that day when we couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> she <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, Jay. <laughs> Let's cut, cut that, off. that off. <laughs> Stop. All right. So back in 1998, I saw the Foo Fighters at the Blue Note in Columbia. The capacity there is 835 people. Wow. Oh, that's, shit. That's, that's what so would be cool. That was how right they, after The that Color. How that happen, the, then? Cause they that were, was when The Color and the Shape came out. So that was their second album. They weren't totally it's, it's huge. It's still Grohl, though. you think he could sell out. That was, you know? I don't know. Most amazing shot I ever saw. It was just the atmosphere is amazing. I thought you were going to say cover band to, uh, what's their name? We mentioned them almost every podcast. No, the 311 cover yeah. band. Oh. <laughs> oh, the ones that broke, Chaos. They broke up on stage. Yeah. Those guys. Yeah. Would that, does that get an honorable mention at least? That would be an honorable mention just for the fact we got to see him break up on stage. <laughs> that was a great still, night overall. I still yep. am so we got to see a lot go. of everything. Yep. God, dude, we just watched a, like a tribute band break up. <laughs> well, when we the bassist drunk. came over, over and said, over creative differences too. Yeah. That's why I find it so funny. Well, when the bassist came over in the middle of a drum solo and said, "We're just going to leave our drummer up there to hang for a while," they pretty Flipped much sealed this guy. Okay. You got any others that you want to talk about? Um, I saw Greek Fire in a small venue like that, too, which yeah. the energy was just amazing. Um, the other Foo Fighter concert was pretty good because they split between uh, electric and acoustic in the set. So, right. cool. um, I don't go to a lot of concerts, so this is a horrible thing for me. But so you're going to say Hootie and the Blowfish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say... I saw Duran one. Duran when they first came out. I'm going to uh, say the, the first best CD concert I ever went to <laughs> I like Duran Duran. was when me and you went to Greek Fire. For the reason alone... 
that you got railroaded <sighs> about 20 row, not even row, I don't know what to say, about 20 feet, Probably, 20 yards at least. at least, by some crazy, what would we say, mosh pit train of some kind? Yeah. Basically, you and Aaron disappeared. That's what the best part was. That's why it's my favorite one, because I was like, I just witnessed that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad it wasn't me. <laughs> That's all I cared about. One week before ankle surgery. One week before ankle surgery, yeah. So, all right, let's see. You got to go, Jen. What's your favorite concert? Your contribution to the podcast. You suck. Wow. <laughs> what, okay. Which ones have you been to? None of the above. You're awful. I know. <laughs> wow. She's our aggressive gum chewer on the podcast. <laughs> Fuck your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> she just wanted a babysitter for the evening, so. That's right. All right. Let's ask uh, Ashley's turn. Right, Ashley, go ahead. Favorite concert ever been to? Well, I feel like I'm going to get like stone tarred and feathered now. But You're going to say go. a country show. Well, kind of. That's sort okay. Of, oh, yeah. fuck. Um, Proceed. I think my favorite by far so far has been Florida Georgia Line. Nah, that's fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I know no, that I'm just joking. Answer, but I also that's like your saw, opinion, man. Um, saw Jimmy Buffett in Chicago, and that was that's pretty cool. amazing. I have friends that like both, well, Florida Georgia Line first, but. Uh, Jimmy Buffett, I heard his shows are pretty crazy. Like the tailgate, the whole experience. Yeah, the tailgate was is insane. Yeah, I mean, the, the lengths that people go to to travel to see him, to decorate their cars themselves. I mean, it was. He, uh, I think he's one of the few performers at uh, Riverport, you know, whatever it's called now. Hollywood Blowjob Casino Amphitheater. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and like, uh,. Uh, you can actually tailgate and drink in the parking lot for him, and you can't really do that for anybody else. But they have like a special circumstance for his tailgates, so you can go get wasted for hours before the Jimmy Buffett show. Yeah. I don't want to sound insensitive, but I dated a whore once by the name of Lauren, <laughs> and uh, she went up to Chicago for. Uh, I did too. Hey, thank you for same clarifying which one. Eskimo hey. brothers, hey. yeah. Hey. Could be. Are we fishing in the same hole? <laughs> <laughs> Not at the same time. That you know of. <laughs> That's true. You got yeah, in, you got out. But she went into yeah, she went to Chicago for that whole like tailgate event. I heard all about yeah. that. Was that a DVP going on there? Did you guys high five? Double vaginal <laughs> penetration. <laughs> Eiffel Tower. Lori. <laughs> Lori, favorite concert, quickly. I don't think I have a favorite one. I've just oh my. been to. Yes, you do. Hey, do you want me to say no comment? Because I will. <laughs> Unless it's a band. <laughs> 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 that is her like go to the no comment. Yeah. It is no why. comment. You're like a. I you learned my favorite, lesson. You plead the fifth every time. <laughs> uh, no, I mean I've been cool. with Ashley to a bunch of uh, concerts at Riverport. So. Okay, pick one. Florida well, Georgia it, Line. It'd probably counts. be the one I was with her. Yeah, because they played the song with Nelly, and Nelly came out. So. That's Florida Georgia Line, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So what makes their show good? Just to, I, I don't listen to country because so you don't, don't know. really well, know what state I don't think they're it's in. <laughs> they're kind of like teetering on the Florida or Georgia line. Ah. Teetering, if I yeah, yeah. Kind of teetering. All right. I get it. But like, do a lot of people smoke weed in the grass? <laughs> <laughs> in the lawn? I mean, I think we smelled a little bit, but we don't. But I mean, we like to dance, so that's just. I would think at those shows now it's more country shows. Period. Sell out yeah. almost every show. Because I think your yeah, your mom once went to a concert. I think there. So didn't she say she got high in the lawn one time just by breathing in everyone smoking around her at one point? Right. Uh, that's what she would say. That's something she would say. I thought I heard something. It's like Bill Clinton. That's I not the reason why. I saw I Boston with my mom at uh, you know whatever Riverport, yeah. and there wasn't a whole lot of people there, and it was all older couples, mm-hmm. and I was probably one of the youngest people. I just took mom, her. Awesome. It was like her birthday, you yeah. know, and the. Uh, the couple next to us, they had, like, their little picnic blanket and everything, and they're dressed all nice. And then, like, halfway through the show, like, the scent of weed is so strong. I'm like, what is going on? And they're down there, like, yeah. They're down there, like, you know, puffing off this joint. They're passing it to me. I'm like, oh, I'm kind of with my mom. Right now. You're like, mom. Although I should have been like, like, mom, are you cool come on. Yeah. Mom, this is one time. Bond- like Eminem, you mom only bonding. got one shot. <laughs> It reminds me, I did go see Eric Clapton with my mom. I took her for Mother's Day. Um, shit, that was early 2000s, so whatever. Yeah. That was pretty damn good. Did you smoke weed with your mom like Joe did? Uh, <laughs> I didn't smoke with her. No. We did an eight ball on the Metro Link, though. Sweet. Let's do some key bumps? Fuck, nice. Fuck yeah, <laughs> That's how we roll. True story. I like this. I like that you guys spend time with your moms doing drugs. It's cool. I like that. <laughs> St. Louis, bro. My mom didn't listen to this anyway. Yeah. I think my mom's disowned us after episode 
six. She did for real. Has she listened to it? I don't know. No. I know your mom. No, it would be. I think your mom's listened to it, hasn't she? Because she uh, made fun of me, I thought, at one point. I think she might have listened to one of our earlier ones. Because I think she said, why do you make I fun mean, of I mean, I have Jew some boy? friends that don't listen to this, but, yeah. You need to lay off the Jew. He's a nice boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. What's next? <laughs> Wait a minute, dude. That was funny as fuck. <laughs> oh, I agree. But... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Compose. Uh Guilt since we were on concerts and uh, all that good stuff. Uh, guilty pleasure songs, like songs that you like, but you're you're ashamed that you like them. Um, I don't listen to it over and over. I'm fucking this shit. I don't even want to say it out loud. Fuck. Um, <laughs> you I, it say, was uh, that's the whole point of this. <laughs> you got to stand. It was up probably f- shit. Maybe four years ago. Maybe that's what I'm gonna guess. Four years ago, I turned on. I guess it's 1041, the you know the hip hop R&B station here, and so I heard a song. Um, I was like. Fuck yeah, this is good. And I'm like, okay, cool. I had no idea who it was. I remember hearing like a couple of days later, the song came on again. I was like, all right, sweet. And they're like, that was Justin Bieber with Girlfriend. I'm like, oh, fuck. You listen yeah. to Justin Bieber oh, yeah. with Girlfriend? And I now rock- the poster's on the wall. <laughs> I, I rocked the fuck out that I'm like, oh, shit. I didn't just do that. Oh, no. Oh, great. I'm unclean. <laughs> yeah. Had I known it was Bieber, I would have fucking switched to fucking Florida Georgia line. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Here, I'll go. Uh, since I have two young daughters. Gu- guilty pleasure, yeah. Oh. They like Taylor Swift, and I find myself bobbing my head to it every once in a while. Well, uh, haters going to hate, right, hate, 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 hate. Conf- you We're got doing it. confessions. We're doing confessions. My daughter loves Taylor Swift as well, and it, it, I can see how you get into it, yeah. Compared to some of the other stuff they want to listen to, like Lady Gaga and oh. Black Eyed Peas and stuff, I can find myself getting a... Uh, leaving the Taylor Swift on over the other stuff. There is someone at the table that does enjoy Black Eyed Peas. As not a guilty pleasure, just as a pleasure. Yeah, I like them. <laughs> why, why do you like them? Because I like their music. Because Fergie pees on herself. <laughs> <laughs> That's not one of the reasons, thanks. Fergie pees on herself? What? Yeah, I don't know about this. What, that, did you hear about this? No, in, a, in, a, in a concert, she didn't want to leave the stage, so she just went. And there's like pictures of her. No, this yes. is not true. There's no way this is a true story. Steve. Is this, is this true story? No. Yes. No, this Snope, is Snope it. Pretty, Snope it, though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I trust this one. What's the Google image? Fergie pisses herself or something? Oh, wait. You can, oh, it's, you can see a stain or something like yes, that? Yes. There's On a her picture. Outfit? What, if it's just, what if it's just vagina sweat, dude? Oh, I don't think <laughs> that was. Ew. Oh. oh, dude. <laughs> what if she's just really like. Uh, what, what, oh, okay. What if she's okay. just really moist for Back in 2005, on. it says. There's no uh, way she peed herself on a... Wow. <laughs> oh, don't put, don't put sunglasses on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Steve, post that to Twitter somehow if you could. That's hilarious. Oh, okay. oh man. <laughs> I've never heard of this. That's hilarious. Oh, yeah. Wow. Jeez. Yeah, like she just has an accident on stage as a grown woman. I mean, Joe even went upstairs to go right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, There's a puddle under his seat already, though, so... That's gross. So, all right, hold on. We skipped it. Steve, what do you got? Guilty pleasure, Steve? You got to be embarrassed of it. It's fine. We're, we're, this is an open table. Here's I don't know if I'm actually embarrassed about it, but I actually heard it uh, last week. Uh, a live band played it. It's called It's Level 42. It's Something About You. It's that, it's not a guilty pleasure. It's a good song. It is, a, but I mean, well, uh, Cardi, Dark, Ho- uh, right, Dark Horse by Katy Perry. That's, I'm sorry. It's like something. Fuck yeah. Okay. I rocked that out when I came it's, in. You know, yeah, I, I'll kill, yeah I, that's not too bad. It, it yeah, Level 42, cool. Something About You is a good song. Yeah, I've never heard of it. Is, is, is that a local band level? And I always no, think of Vegas they're now. From, um, they're from uh, they're England. Yeah, they're from like British. Yeah. Oh, they're British. Wait, now that Joe's back. Yeah, Joe. Did you hear I, about I peed in the dark because I couldn't find your light switch. So I just <laughs> opened your door. I was like, I hope nobody walks up here. That was Steve's closet. <laughs> and then I found it after I was done, so I'm good now. All right, here. So you heard right. about Fergie pissing song. herself, right? Yeah. What? You heard about Fergie <laughs> pissing herself, wait, right? Wait, what? No. Oh, Fergie. Look at the screen. That's... <laughs> oh, but here, wow. I'll, let me show you this picture. So that's... is that really pee? Do we all say that's pee, honestly? Maybe that's she's got to be. Maybe she's I don't think something. that's sweat. That's why it's vagina sweat. I don't know. <laughs> vagina sweat. <laughs> Can, can, uh, is man, it possible my, to sweat that much? No, I don't is, think so. Hey, I'm going to tweet it out now. I couldn't really Not, hear what you guys said, but well, I bet got, Taylor Swift was he's probably got, he's got, Yeah, I said Taylor he's Swift. you got Justin Which Bieber song? and me and Jay Grimes. Pretty much anything. Taylor yeah. Swift. Uh, I think Taylor Swift is good. That um, song with uh, Will I Am, right? Ooh, yeah. I've never heard that song. What is Neither. it? Justin Bieber, but you're like, yeah, it's Will I Am. He's great. Right? 
What is this? I never one? said that. Jay did say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I like Kelly Clarkson behind these eight hazel eyes. That's a guilty uh, pleasure song. Okay. Yeah, I like Kelly Clark. I like a lot of Kelly Clarkson few, too, uh, and right. uh, Taylor Swift and Katy Perry. I, like I got her one too. that's I'm ashamed of. It. Some of Avril Lavigne, really Lavigne stuff. I kind of like some of her stuff. Not too bad. You, you indirectly mean old Avril. What's new Avril? Avril? Avril, Avril Not the tainted Chad Kroger Avril. Yeah. Wait, what's yeah. that? What's her? Uh, you indirectly that's support Nickelback. Skater Boy. Okay. Yeah. That's. I like that one. Yeah, <laughs> I like Complicated. Right. Yeah. That was on the radio. Okay. Yeah. I think I remember that. Uh, that, that's a guilty pleasure. I'm trying to think yeah. what else I have that's embarrassing that I like. I don't know. I don't think I'm embarrassed to like songs. I'm pretty comfortable. Is there myself. anything that you play? Like, like, the door let's let's say you got the that. windows down, they're blaring, all of a sudden someone pulls up next to you. Is there anything you like? Oh, that right, office space it. moment. I, I gotta turn it down a little bit. Yeah. Um, Hold on. Here we go. Hold on. We got. No, I've never heard it. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's ask the other ladies here. Yeah, we got the other ladies here. All right, uh, Ashley, you have a guilty pleasure song. Oh, Jesus. Um, I'm a diehard Journey fan. That's not a guilty Ooh. pleasure. That's just good music. Fuck See, you. it's a little different, though, because <laughs> like, you're Parker asking. would disagree. Parker yeah. would disagree, but fuck Literally, Parker. Literally, <laughs> if I'm driving in my car and that song comes on, it's Don't good. Stop Believing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What about Sherry? Do you, uh, we got Sherry. Yeah, no? Yeah. Oh, that. Yeah. Yeah. What else we got? Steve Perry. <laughs> Break these chains or something like that. I don't know. I guess Def Leppard would be in the. Pour some sugar. <laughs> Here. But I don't really like that song. Not, not that one. What's I that like one? Photograph, but that's really not even a bad song. Stop. I, don't I, know I got another. You got another one? What do you got? If Limp Biscuit comes on the point, I usually leave it on. Break off. stuff is oh, not a guilty stuff. pleasure. That's not a guilty pleasure. No, it's not. Yeah. Yeah. There's no song. problem beating the fuck out of somebody no. to yeah. break stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and I will, if it happened to Does happen. Does anyone want to argue that? Does anyone want to argue that? Nope. As that's Solomon asked that. us, if it happens, you got to let us know, but don't say it on yeah, air. Exactly. Right. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Well, here, let's ask Lori. No, wait, hold on. Were you done? Which one are you going to yeah. list? What was the one that you wanted to say? Uh, pretty much anything. Anything from Limp Bizkit? Except for the one with the Wu-Tang Clan. That's an okay song. No, his his, uh, his one... Oh, uh, you did. know what song the- by Limp is good, I think? It's from the Mission Impossible soundtrack, Take a Look Around. I know yeah. why you want to eat me. No, I know why you want... <laughs> no, not eat me. No, is that what you said? Me. Oh. Eat me, dude. <laughs> now I know why you want to eat me. It's the Weird Al version. That's the Weird Al version, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, Tony, throw it around. Oh, that's not yeah, well, well, no, royalties. We Rams journey. are at the one. We got Lori. Yeah. We got yeah. Lori up. Lori, right. guilty pleasure song. Um, well, maybe <laughs> Destiny's Child. Destiny's Child. Which song? Say well, my name, say my th- name. That one, or you can do like Bootylicious or Bootylicious. Survivor. Bootylicious. My body is too Bootylicious. And then, you, I'm not going to lie, but like <laughs> Spice Girl. Oh, wow. yeah. No, oh, you I did not. Wow. If no, you want to be wait, my wait. lover, you got to get... <laughs> Actually, you know, like, okay, when you got to get with my friends, I mean, you had to bang all my friends. Is that what that means? If you want to be my awesome. lover, Is you have to cream pie my friends. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Remix. <laughs> it was like Beyonce. Uh, what's the song where you got to put a ring on it? Oh, Single, single Ladies. Yeah. I like that song. What I love is not. That one of my f- it's not overplayed no, at the fucking plays, wedding. Do you actually start either. dancing to it? That's the question. Do you actually yeah. start moving around? I bet he does in front of the mirror. He busts <laughs> out the scene. Yeah. And uh, the live version's even better. The live version. Yeah. Please and I also like Taylor Swift's mean live version from the Grammys a few years ago. Yeah. I don't not that, that I added that to my favorites on YouTube, but I did. <laughs> <laughs> Full disclosure episode. Full disclosure. Uh, so we, okay, we had so wait, Spice Girl over there. Hey, Spice. Yes, <laughs> hey, indifferent Spice. <laughs> so, now, <laughs> so here's the question: We can segue into guilty pleasure movies. Spice World. Mm, did you see it? Did you love it? Go. I don't think I, I did. I saw I, it when I was younger, but I didn't. Don't think I loved that's it. That's a no. No. Nope. Okay. No. Yeah, that's a no for no, me. Too. That's no. a no for you. All right. So, Toner, guilty pleasure movie that you're ashamed that you liked. Oh, man. I mean, oh, I, well, I got mine. Well, I, I have to like be ashamed. <laughs> well, I mean, he's sitting in front of a bunch of guys. I got to be ashamed, but I fucking like it. I don't care. Uh, Serendipity with John Cusack <laughs> and Kate Beckinsale. <laughs> no, wait. That's my jam. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Our okay, I think I just fell in love with you. You like that because of who's in it. 
Well, yeah, but it's also hilarious. Oh, Jeremy so Piven. Piven's in it, too. Oh, Piven's in it? Yeah, Piven's yeah. in it. Yeah. I love Piven, dude. It's I funny. It, it was a I like Jeremy Piven. Oh, she's in the Serendipity? That's your um, movie? That is, like, by far my favorite movie. <laughs> is, <good. laughs> is it really? So, is it really a guilty pleasure movie for a girl, though? I don't, I don't know I don't if know. I've seen no. it. I know what it is, but I don't know if I've seen oh it. I think I, I think I had that fucker on DVD, too. Is it, like, a love... It's like a romantic it is, comedy. It's like a, like a sex triangle. Movie. Sex triangle, yeah. <laughs> it's like everything's based on chance. Everything's based on fate. You know, whatever chances you go through. I heard sex triangle. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Steve got excited. Yeah. So it's basically like me going to Lumiere. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm John Cusack. Yeah. Playing craps with girls. So, no, what's, what's, <laughs> yes. Damn it. Tony, what's your name? The, the female that's Kate Beckinsale. There you go. Thank mm. you. Oh, that's why. That's There's why. Another the hottest woman on the planet. Yeah. Yeah. Women. Mm. women, women, women Tony has reinforced that his that's statement his, that's a few his times. Yeah. Kate Beckinsale. He's right, got so, tunnel vision. So serendipity. Yeah. Beckinsale. It's Beckinsale. <laughs> what is it? Beckinsale. Beckinsale. Oh, it's Beckinsale. not Beckinsdale? Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Beckinsdale sounds like a, sounds like a fucking neighborhood <laughs> <Yeah>. fluorescent. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means, but okay. I don't know. All right. I'm trying oh. to appeal to Matt. Thank you. <laughs> no co. Yeah, thanks. Right. <laughs> Matt always just. You're, you're pointing, but I I don't know, man. No I ain't guilty got, pleasure. No. Role. Yeah. So that you're ashamed. This is a guy that saw Twilight, like the opening of one of them. I, okay, there you go. <laughs> Midnight, yeah. I went, yeah. One of the a girl at work, she's like, I, the person that she needed to go with got sick, and I'm, she's like, hey, you want to go to the Midnight? Like, All right, fine, whatever. It was the second one. Whatever the fuck uh, second one was, I don't remember. Did she give you a handy in the popcorn bucket? Uh, no. no. Did you hope that she gave you one? That she, I cut a hole in it just because, but you know. You always just like Lori. Oh, was it you? Was it no, Lori? No, no. <laughs> yeah, she's like, she's like I'm don't right get here. I didn't give a <laughs> look. It was before you. Uh, yeah, it was. Yeah. This was this was before. Oh, what a dork. He tried to take out the end zone and he fumbled at the two. Uh, <laughs> Nobody was around him. Remy's That's awesome. Uh, um, no, you know, I mean, it's, you know. Just, I think I have a lot of guilty pleasures. Well, let's, let's save you well, for I'm last very in touch with so my let's go, Jake. side. Okay, one starring Mr. Andrew Lincoln, Love Actually. He had a little bit role in it way before he was Rick Grimes. Is that the one where there's a bunch, there's a ton yeah. of characters? That's a ton, um, yeah, a ton was of that, people. Was that Guy Ritchie? That wasn't Guy Ritchie. Yeah. No, that wasn't Guy Ritchie. Right. Um, let's see, who's the main person? Hugh Grant, I think, was like one of the main people. Colin Firth, Liam Neeson. It's a chick flick. That's where Hugh Grant made his money on chick flicks for the most part, didn't he? Did. I think so, yeah. Yeah. I wonder if and Liam then Neeson. Spent it on hookers. Did Liam Neeson like threaten a chick over the phone in that movie? I will find you. I don't know who you are, but you will get pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> I will find you and I will bang you. Yeah, he's in it. So let's see. Okay, I just so want to see what you look like in the I don't think they show him. I will bang you. I will bang you. I will bang you. Matthew's talking. <laughs> he was Mark in the movie. Fuck off. <laughs> He's Mark. Um, Probably an American accent. I am number four. Too. Does that count as a guilty pleasure? Because this was kind of... Never saw it. I am number four. You never saw that one? No. Nope. But I know oh, it's based off a young adult moment. That's why I think maybe I'll no. consider that. I, I, I like it. I watch it all the time. Um, I don't know. Get, come, come back to me. I'll think of something while we're going around the table. Well, mine, so. I like... Uh, oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, I get... Uh, no. I'll be getting a lot. That's Laura, why I was... Laura, let's go. Laura, what nah, you got? I mean, Guilty pleasure that you're ashamed that you like. You have to hold it to your mouth there. There you go. Okay. Yes, I found it. Just like my <laughs> penis. Hold it to your mouth. Thank you. <sighs> it's not a Tootsie Roll. Oh. God. Oh, wait. Did she just call you a Tootsie Roll? Oh, nice. That's on. That's going all over the world. Okay. Just kidding. Just she kidding. didn't say that when s- never on Friday night when she was getting nailed. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. What are you okay. doing over there? All right, hold on. I'll, I'll use it for my. Hold on. I'm talking in the mic while we're doing this. All right. Me and Joe are having a side conversation. Pitch perfect. I actually don't mind that movie. Oh, yeah, I, <laughs> I agree. Don't mind I think that it's perfect. It's funny. The music's actually pretty, pretty good. So. And also, <laughs> as far as musicals go, I like Grease. Yes. Mm. Okay, Grease. And I like Grease, too, because Grease 2 is so bad that it's hilarious. <gasps> if anybody's it comes ever watched full circle. it. Yeah, it's really good. And so, also, I guess I'd throw a fault in our stars out there, too. That was good. And also, I'd probably throw all the Twilight Saga out there, and I'd probably throw Fifty Shades of Grey out there. <laughs> and also, Basically, everything yeah, you, you know, talked like, about last podcast. All right, I got you it. Liked, okay. You liked Fifty Shades? No, I didn't like 50 it. Shades, yeah. But he watched it. It was. Watched I watched that. it from beginning to end. Now, here's the question: Do you watch five it with times. your pants on or off? Honestly, Ew. on. On. Okay. Yeah. It depends on who's in the room. <laughs> I had already completed uh, extraction before I watched <laughs> it. <laughs> I wanted to watch it with a so clear mind. Uh, so good, good call. Wait, right, so we didn't Lord, get an wait, answer Lord, from Lori. I know, look, no comment, apparently. Fucking answer, yes. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. I missed you, too. 
Uh, no, I mean the Pitch Perfect, but I don't. I, mean, I haven't had time to watch movies lately, so I don't know. You're a chick, so you're allowed to say Pitch Perfect. Yeah, that's it's true. Like that's a regular true. movie. Name like mm. uh, if she would have said like Rambo two. <laughs> <laughs> Kickboxer Van Damme. No. Ashley, do you have one? Porn movies are acceptable too. Yeah, I don't know what. <laughs> I know Walk to Remember. I've seen a Walk to Remember. I, okay, uh, yeah. Is that Chris that's Klein that in that movie? Yeah, I've seen it. Or no, maybe it's got, uh, it's got Mandy, Mandy Moore, Moore in it. Yeah. Oh yeah, Mandy Moore. Yeah. My oh, friend Dirk was. Shit. I lived with a guy in a uh, at Simo, and he was huge into Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> so all of his movie collection, half of it was like a Walk to Remember and all that stuff yeah. too, because he was very emotional. <laughs> and because uh, that story is so believable, the story, what the it premise is. of that one was, what they were seniors in high school or something like that, and she's got. I kind of don't remember. Leukemia. I'm getting that yeah. mixed up with another movie. And they're getting married while they're still in high school kind of thing. I'm like, come on. And then a Tyrannosaurus Rex escapes. And, and Triceracops shows up. Yeah. Triceracops. <laughs> Sorry, movie. Sorry, it's a wrong movie. So hold on. All right, Jen. Guilty pleasure. I don't know. Um, maybe... You're putting your microphone in front of her phone. Come on. <laughs> maybe 27 Dresses? 27 Tell Catherine Dresses. Heigl Chick-lick. movies. But that's Catherine Heigl. She has reason to be... That's a guilty pleasure movie. Yeah, because I don't want to call Catherine Heigl a Wait, cunt. stop. Lori's excited about having a comment. Let's go. <laughs> no, speaking of Catherine Heigl, I watched, uh, well, I started to watch. It's called Jenny's Wedding on Netflix. Turned out it was Catherine Heigl who was a lesbian <laughs> getting married. What? Does all she make is are wedding movies? I didn't Apparently. know she, yeah. Shit, I guess she's found her, like, her calling. She's her, cute, her but apparently she's yeah. just a bitch. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Oh. Imagine that. Is that why she's single? She ain't got no man? I think she, yeah, probably. Except Seth Rogen. <laughs> <laughs> knocked up. Seth, Seth Whoa, Rogen. Knocked up. I'm a big fan of Knocked Up. Yeah, like Knocked Up is pretty good. I, yeah. I, I laugh at that all the time. Anybody got anything else? Anything? No. I, oh, shit, yeah. I'm, fu- I'm hesitant, though. Don't Just be scared. Fucking say it. Say it. If you're talking it. about say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Sex in the City, you can say it. Like no, wait, Airborne. He said he's like, no, he said that he likes Sex in the City. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, yeah. it's mission it. as possible. I'm sorry. It's no. a yeah, it's I went with my friend Aaron and saw the fucking uh, the Lake House with Keanu Reeves. Oh, and yeah. <laughs> hey, I like that movie, too, uh, where they leave shit in yeah. the mailbox. Yeah. 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 I like that movie, too. Dumb. Dumb. You saw it? Yeah, I have to get. <laughs> you got hit by a vehicle. I've seen so many action movies. I have to go see those movies too. It was so unbelievable. But Ultron, that shit's for real. <laughs> she was God. like, Keanu, you're gonna get hit I, by a car today. He goes, Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. I know kung fu. Yeah. I, I know kung fu. Uh, Show me. All right. I'm trying uh, to think of any other chick flicks. What's a chick flick I've seen? I don't think I watched too many of them though. Those are usually the guilty yeah. pleasure ones that are. Uh, I don't know. I'm drawing a blank on them now. I, see, I can't. Ever, they're so not memorable. Is the problem? Yeah. You see them and they're like, eh, it wasn't the too same bad. formula. Yeah. Family Stone. That's a chick one, isn't it? But it's Christmas. The Family Stone. That's a good one. Yeah. It's not bad. She- it's, yeah. Mm. All right. Do we shoot our wad on this one? Are we done with this topic? Yes, please. I, I Let's think. Move on. <laughs> On to the next one. Right. What's the most awkward soundtrack you've ever had sex to? Jay, Ooh. go. <laughs> Ooh. I can think Ooh. of a song. Oh, go- please do. Yes, this is interesting. Okay, won't be like naming this. any names, but yeah, music L- is playing Lee in the Ling? back. Lee Lee Ling? Ling? No, no. No. <laughs> no. Even if it was, I'm saying no. Um, <laughs> okay, Lee what was Ling. his name? Uh, oh. What was his name? <laughs> yeah, it was a- Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me. <laughs> well, Jay's mom <laughs> likes Michael Bolton, <laughs> so we, um, no. Uh, some music. I, 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 <laughs> I forgot. I, like, I kind of zoned out a little. I was, like, I was like, "Wait, that was a joke." Yeah, yeah. Um, I forgot what song. Like some songs are playing, like appropriate songs. Okay, then all Shade of a sudden, remix. Yeah, whatever. But uh, then all of a sudden, um, I forgot the name of the band, but it was a uh, "Come on, Ride That Train" came on. Oh, man. Come on, ride that train. Uh, and ri- yeah, I'm like, but what's funny? Like you're not paying attention. But all of a sudden, like you try to do it, like with the beat of the song, you're like, "What the fuck's <laughs> happening here? Like, we gotta stop." You're like, "Thrust, thrust, thrust!" Yeah, oh, wait, my rhythm was totally thrown off. Yeah, Quad City DJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there we go. Yeah, it's, it's called, called Quad "Come City. On and Ride It." Yeah. <laughs> all right, Steve, song that you remember trying to match the rhythm of? I guess is what we're going. Yeah, that was fucking hilarious. Uh, mine was "Song 2 by Blur because. It's <laughs> <laughs> 
That's the shortest song I can think of. I get it. I get it. I I don't have one, man. I I can't top blur too. (laughs) I feel like a dork because I mention 311 all the time. I made a mix CD. Just let that roll in the background. It was a lot. It was all. I remember. I still have it somewhere. It's called Soothing 311. So that on the ladies get moist. What's up? Yeah. I think I got it onto a Britney Spears song once. Which one was it? This is a good one, though. It was worth it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I slapped the shit out of her, too. <laughs> her behind. Not her face. Was her? I don't remember. <laughs> There's a good Britney Spears song. <laughs> Fuck yeah. To get oh, onto. man. What's that uh, song that's fairly new by Britney Spears? It's another guilty pleasure. Oh, I can't remember. That I'm a slave for you. I, no, I, I rocked was, that shit. Well, that was about, old. It was like with four, bitch in it? Something. four years ago. So and this, like the video is like a doomsday video where they're all dancing underground. Uh, work, that was the Matrix yeah. part I'll two. <laughs> <laughs> work bitch. I don't um, well, shit, who would leave off? <sighs> oh, James. Okay, uh, James. Right. We don't have music playing because we're trying to be quiet because we're kids. <laughs> Well, think of a before, before no, yeah, I, kid. I can't think of any. His is hello what? darkness, my old friend. <laughs> <laughs> Porn music? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, Jen. What do we have for this one? <laughs> no, I'll find I, it. I have my partner here with me today, so I don't know. No, I just we don't really now, have, music. have music. Now you yeah, might find out the music. truth. This was only like four years ago. I'm trying to think. Do we ever have any music going on? The theme to Titanic? <laughs> <laughs> Till the world ends, by the way. That was that Britney Spears song. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, know I hate when I can't think of something like that. When worlds collide, Power Man 5000. <laughs> <laughs> nice. We don't really have music ever going, do we? So what happens when you get married? Yeah, I know. I guess that's what it is. Is that? I guess, is that more of a single? Not even single, but pre-marriage. I guess that's more of a pre-marriage thing. I have a music. Uh, usually you just go to sleep. <laughs> Nature we turn, says. What, yeah. We, yeah. we turn a fan yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever was Wait. on in the back seat of the car. <laughs> when Matt has sex, he chirps like crickets. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's treatment. actually Jen. Yeah. <laughs> oh! oh. We, we, go, we, we play dreidel dreidel. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I didn't even make that joke. Uh, you did. Uh, I did it before you get to it because it hurts so much. As you your do. lawyer, I would advise against doing that in the future. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, Lori's okay. up. Lori's up. Oh. She, she got the mic. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I don't think I can remember. I don't know. That was song, what is it? I think it just happened to come on Pony. <laughs> it's in Magic Pony. Pony. Oh, yeah. yeah. It just happened to go. It, yeah. yeah. That song's awesome. Fuck yeah, it is. Steve, did you? Yeah. Yo, yeah. Home. No, that was, that was, that was, that was well, somebody that was else, man. a long man. time ago, but, uh. Right. Hey, hey, but have that queued up for next time. <laughs> wow. I will. Oh, yeah. Wow. Like, hold, hold on. Hold wow. on, Steve. Push play. Wow. <laughs> there you go. Steve's like, head like a oh. hole. <laughs> Black as your Steve's like, soul. I want to fuck you like an animal. He's like, all right, oh, is that going to pop? Does Ashley want to chime in here? Ashley's up. Let's go. We share at this table. We share. Nothing leaves this podcast. It just goes out onto the internet. (laughs) Just don't say your last name. My husband is going to be just so ecstatic with me when I say this, and he listens to this podcast. Sweet. Have him tell his friends, too. Okay, does anybody remember 102.5? Uh, is that K E K F M? That's a soft rock station, right? Soft rock, 102.5. She read their story first. And back in the day before, everybody did the whole, like, iPads and things. We had to turn on the radio to get the mood set. And my favorite was when Can You Feel the Love Tonight came on. <laughs> the Lion King <laughs> soundtrack. The Lion King. Oh, yeah. Talk yeah. about a mood killer. Oh, nice. my gosh. And the worst part was he had a roommate at the time. We were in college, and he had a roommate at the time. And I could hear laughter coming from the next room as that song was playing. Because he knew exactly what was going on. So they're like, is that really the song that's playing right now where you guys are doing this? So, Joe, what so happens yeah. when uh, Simba, the, the, uh, ay da 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 whatever that is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> that gets her in the mood. <laughs> I guess so. It's like you hold up your full condom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I have no idea. 
This is a dirty <laughs> podcast. <laughs> oh. We should delete this one. We'll yeah. just start over. Okay. No, that was internet gold. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, that's fucking sweet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm full. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> What's next? So that's it. We're at the hour mark. Uh, well, we so. that's like eight minutes of just bullshit. Yeah, we still have, yeah. we still have ten minutes we left. We had several yeah. minutes. We started about 7.50. Wow. The cost of full cost of full He, like, holds up the full cost. He's like, ay, 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 ay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. That's dirty. Yeah. Oh, shit. Just the fucking visual oh. now is disturbing. Thank you. Um. Uh, all right, so we did uh, we, the, uh, some news lately. Was that uh, Memento um, is going to be remade? Why? A fifteen-year-old yeah, movie. A fifteen-year-old movie. Uh, Christopher Nolan's Memento is going to be remade. So we like we, we thought, what movies do we think that should not ever be remade? I think Memento's right there because that was yeah. a perfect movie. That's one of the like top twenty, I think, right now on IMDb. Too. Here's what I think they're eventually going to do, and they should never do it. I guarantee they're probably going to try to think about remaking Silence of the Lambs. Yeah, I agree. No, no, I'll never do that. Um, it's movies that are really highly rated like that. So maybe we'll go all the way around. Movie that you think they should never ever remake. No, wait, before you go, I think you might agree with me on this one, but I think they are remaking it. Space Jam. Oh, oh, with LeBron. Yeah, yeah I heard yeah, about that. Yeah, I think it's more of a sequel, though. Yeah. Is it a sequel yeah, or a remake? So. Yeah, it's a sequel. Uh, it's I, even I don't think they need a sequel to it. That's from childhood. In LeBron's, they just come up short in the championship at the end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He plays awesome for three quarters. Yeah. 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 He disappears. Then <laughs> the air conditioning gets to him, and he cramps up. Uh, she, well, everybody's. I think we've talked about this before. You can't touch Back to the Future. That's what leave, I was going to say. Leave that shit alone. And don't. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to say it right now. Don't. Yeah. Be, unless uh, you got a shaky cam. <laughs> God damn it, Joe. Joe don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I forgot. Uh, <laughs> um, shit. Marty, stay in sixth gear. Marty. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, that's the only one I got right now. I almost would have. Well, they've already remade the show, all the Jurassic Park franchise. So I guess there's no going back on that one. Well, they're not really remakes; they're sequels, I guess. Yeah, right. yeah. First they ones. acknowledge the past ones. You know? yeah. yeah, they acknowledge. Yeah, the, the first newest day. one they did yeah. acknowledge the past one. Um. Mm. Oh, shit. Well, they already They're remaking it. Point Break, the ultimate uh, uh, Is your brother excited about it? He said he might go see it. That's I one of his all-time favorites. Anti-against, you know, he'd be very anti against, you know, he'd be very against them doing that. No more Jaws movies. Just let those uh, go. Yeah, yeah. No more Friday the 13th or... No, it's already happening. They already got a writer. T- they do? Yeah. They, they, yeah, they, they, did what about, and they already did. They've yeah. already re- and re-amped it up. Nightmare on Elm Street. They did that, too. Yeah, they've already remade that. Dirty. They well, did, yeah, they yeah, redid yeah, Dirty. Well, they did, uh, Havana Nights. Havana Nights. Wait, is that a remake or is that a sequel? Uh, I that was, was like. A, I think yeah. it was a sequel. Yeah, it was called Havana Nights or some shit. Okay. I think didn't Swayze make a cameo in it or something? They redid Halloween. Yeah, they redid yeah. Halloween. But now, that was actually fucking. Here's good. Here's one they're not remaking, but they're making a sequel to. They're doing Top Gun too. Apparently, I uh, read that. Well, yeah. they were, but uh, what the Scott brother, the guy who killed himself, um, Tony Scott. Tony Scott. Yeah. Okay. He, he was he was tied to it. Yeah. Okay. He jumped off a bridge like last year or two years ago. He, that was fucked up. I don't know if you heard that story. People say he just he drove his car up to the bridge, just got it out of his car, walked up, just boom, no hesitation. I didn't know that's how he did. I know he died. Or yeah. I didn't know he was. Uh, Sounds like that'd be more fun to watch than Top Gun too. <laughs> 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 wow. Oh man. Oh, okay. Jesus. I mean, if we're looking like Jay, you've got yeah, the top. I got IMDb up. up. They're top. Shawshank Redemption. Yeah. No, never don't ever. Never. That. Yeah. Godfather. You can never. No. Leave. No. no. Leave the oh, Dark Knights. Here's alone. one they could probably. I bet you they might try someday. And I think they should leave it alone. Clockwork Orange. Mm. Just try to make it so that people can understand it a little bit better. I could actually so. see him remaking Twelve Angry Men. They have. They have. Yeah. Jack Lemmon was in it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> but I, think I think that, that was, was a TV, TV version. only yeah. though. Oh. Yeah. Schindler's List. <laughs> Maybe change the ending. D- just stop. Just God don't even say it. anything else, you fucking asshole. During World War Three. <laughs> All right, here you go. Fight Club. No. Why would oh, you ever yeah, try yeah. to test that? Yeah. You couldn't, yeah. You can make it closer to the book. That's yeah. the only defense you'd have for that. All right. Forrest Gump. <laughs> Tough. Oh, how, could, would, how would yeah, you do that? I, I don't even know how you could do that. Someone would find a way. Yeah. Gus Van Sant would do a shot-for-shot shot remake of it. Like he did oh, yeah. here's what I bet you they'll do in a few years. 
uh, Van Sant's other one. Um, Good Will Hunting? Yeah. And not the sequel. No, not Will Hunting season. Hunting season. <laughs> 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 Um, uh, you know what's funny, by the way? Uh, the new South Park. Oh, they could never do Caitlyn something. Caitlyn Jenner yeah. punched Randy in the balls or something. She goes, you like apples? And Bunch goes, how do you like them apples? <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Good Will Hunting's awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But we're talking about movies that we think that should never, never be remade. Never be remade. Leon. The Professional? Yeah. That was a perfect movie. I guarantee movie. they'll try to do it. I guarantee uh, they'll I could, try to do it. I bet it. if they haven't already, I might be wrong. It's a Wonderful Life. Oh. I bet they'd remake that. Yeah, they I would. could see them yeah, like would. coming out Christmas and you know one yeah. of these future years. I could see them doing it like a made for TV version. No, th- okay, Independence Day. Are they doing sequel, sequel. or sequel. They doing a remake? It's okay. a sequel. sequel. Without Will Smith, it's going to focus on his son. From what I've heard, is it going to be his son playing the main character too? God, I hope not. God, I hope not. as long as Jaden Smith gets killed, at the because end. they already as long as he live karate tweets kid his experience, him. it's okay. Yeah. His Twitter account is hilarious, man. That kid is so he's, dumb. Yeah, he's the dumbest. He's a fucking idiot. If there's a Darwin candidate, it's him. Yeah. His kids are so fucking ugly, too. Will Smith. <laughs> they look like they're from Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> they do, but they're like millionaires, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, they just throw them out there, and yeah. they make shitty songs and bad actors. But, hey, it's Will Smith's kid. Will Smith is a good actor, yeah. but his kid's not so much. Okay, so we've Did done the ones we say that should not be done. Do the ladies have anything oh, they want to yeah. add? Do you have anything you want to add? I can't believe they're remaking Memento. What about Elf? Yeah. Do you think they should remake Elf? A, a company <laughs> bought the library that owns Memento, and they said that was going to be one of the first movies they remade. But have they cast? No. Cast they, a, no. Man. It's in pre-production. <laughs> Guy Pierce is going to be in it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's gonna the whole, he didn't remember making the first time. We're going to do it in order this time. Okay, you know what? If you're going to remake Memento, put like Ryan Gosling in it. That's your boy, yeah. That's my boy. Yeah. Will he oh, eat yeah. cereal? See? <laughs> and the ladies agree. He's a good actor, and he's easy on the eyes for the women. Yep. There you go. Do the ladies have anything they want to add? All right, yeah. Any movies that should not be remade? Grease 2. Do not touch that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's holy to me. No comment. <laughs> I don't Jesus. know. That's a great movie. Yeah. That's a great movie. When I worked at Stonegate, a guy liked Grease 2 also. It's Michelle like, Pfeiffer's in it. Oh, yeah. She's really good looking at it. But the best part about Grease 2 is Andy will even confirm this, is if you watch it on, like, TBS, they edit the movie because, like, parts of it are raunchy. So every time, the, although it might not be like that anymore, whenever the little girl says, pisses me off, they edit it to say, pledges and codes. So for, like, years, Andy would be like, pledges and codes. <laughs> And I knew what he That's meant. just like when a uh, Die Hard comes on. It's a Yippie Kaye, Mr. Mr. Falcon. Mr. Falcon, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. That's another oh, series, okay, Leave Alone. One that should, they should the Die Hard. Yeah, yeah, Don't yeah. put new people in it. Yeah. The Princess Bride should never be remade. Yeah. Never. Oh, yeah. yeah, they should never remake that one. Oh, man. Okay, this is off topic a little bit, but you know what movie I just watched yesterday for the first time ever? It was V for Vendetta. Oh, okay. Finally yeah. watched it. That's- I it was, that was not Don't good. remake that. Don't. No, no, I wouldn't remake that. Is that I that like I didn't don't. dislike it? I thought it was going to be more... Um, it's been a long time. Oh, here you yeah. go, Jay. I got one for you that should never be remade, but they're going to do it. Mm-hmm. The Crow. Oh. Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't know well, if don't they're ever going to, because they've been it's, working it's on that in limbo. for limbo. Yeah, but it's they're working on it. It's always been working. The Crow. Nature cause. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, the thing is they want to make he that true to the He just has to go to the bathroom the entire movie. They have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Nature cause, get it? Uh, oh, we get it. Oh, yeah. Uh, they're going to try to make that more like the comic book was. That's the reason why they're redoing it, and James O'Barr is on board I know, with but it. the first, the, the original, there's nothing wrong with that one. It's a great movie on its own. I mean, why do you never see dead crows on the highway? Why? Because they're always warning each other. Caw! Caw! Oh. <laughs> That's a good one, Jim. Uh, I heard that from a guy at City years ago. It was at the Riverport building and everybody uh, broke down laughing because it was at night and it was quiet and he did that joke and I was like that was awesome <laughs> nice. I've never forgotten that <laughs> alright so there All you right. go that's that part unless we want to do go. ones that should be remade I do have one one that you want remade or I, should yes not? that okay. I'd like to see remade okay. is The Hobbit is one movie following the books instead of adding all the bullshit they did to stretch it out into three movies The Hobbit is one movie I don't know they could do that they could. They could. Yeah. And the one well, the three-hour bo- movie, I guess. The book itself, like, the book's like yeah. 250 pages. Yeah, but they yeah. added so much stuff to those movies to drag them out and make three of them. Right. Anybody else got anything they want to? S- they do want to see remade? They, they, they kind of modernize it? I got one. I got one I would, wouldn't Debbie mind seeing. Debbie Does Dallas? 
<laughs> They've done that, sir. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, short Circuit. I do want to see a remake. Yes. With uh, modern technology. Yep. Short yeah. Circuit. Mac and me. <laughs> <laughs> when they fall, when the dude falls off the cliff on the wheelchair. Yeah. The Paul Rudd cliff. The yeah. Paul Rudd cliff, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think Short Circuit, though, would be a pretty decent one to remake. I mean, I know Gutenberg can never be replaced, mind you, but... That would be tough. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Anybody else got anything they would want to see remade? If they ever it's remade it again, I wouldn't mind seeing, like, a decent Ninja Turtles movie. The ones they're coming out with are kind of, like, corny. I want to see a dark Ninja Turtles movie. A dark movie. one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Which, this one, the most recent one was they were kind of going that way, but yeah. yeah there's still a lot bit. of corniness in it. Yeah. I think I'm kind of over the CGI effects, though. It That's going to be everything in movies anymore. This would be considered more of a sequel, or I guess a reboot of a franchise, but I'm surprised Arnold never came back for a Predator movie. You know what I mean? I mean well, you don't, they did you don't Predator, touch Predator the Alien, or they did uh, Predator vs. Alien, right? And they also did Predator. They did, they did Predator Two with uh, mm-hmm. Danny Glover. Yeah, no, Glover. no, the most recent one with uh, that was, it was Predator. Adrian, Adrian Brody. Yeah, yeah. Predator yeah. versus Alien, then Predators, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I think that's what yeah. I think there's only now four. Predators. They, they did acknowledge the first Predator movie, but sure. I thought um, Arnold could do another one. He could, yeah. Why not? You one ugly son of a bitch, this, mother- <laughs> this motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. Dylan, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? See, I get you pushing pencils again. <laughs> That's my brother's favorite scene in any movie, where they do the bro handshake. Yeah. And they zoom in on their muscles, like, yeah. tightening. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Yeah. The 80s dialogue is fantastic. That, yeah. was, it, that was late 80s, wasn't it? Early, so. though? Yeah. 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 Predator. All right, well, here yeah. you go. Andy would tell you. For, I think it was, like, 87, I want to say. No, I know there's been plenty of sequels, but now that we're far enough away, what about a Home Alone remake? Could they do that one? Try to modernize that one. Um, Speaking of Home Alone, they just said that it was made 25 years ago, and I'm like, wow. Yeah. I was like, what, 11 or something? No. <laughs> Eight. Who would be a relevant... You'd have to find a relevant like budding Hulk. star to find... Yeah. To Get Macaulay Culkin to do it again. Yeah, really. He's not doing anything. <laughs> but he's drugged out the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Drug Col- dealers are coming Wait, to collect money. Dead? No, he's not so. dead. No. Yeah. Yeah, but okay, there we go. Drug dealers come to get their money from him. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> 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 All right, we'll put that on there. <laughs> that's the bro shake. I when my bro sh- brother bro met shake. my friend Mark for the first time in Vegas, like <laughs> did they do the bro shake? Uh, they both liked Predator, and my brother, or maybe it was Mark. He went. To my, Andy goes, Dylan, and Andy's like chimed right in. You son of a bitch! And they both, <laughs> they both did the entire one minute scene word for word. And like that was one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. But it was awesome. Oh, they, their mutual love for Predator. Yeah, nice. that was such a bro like scene. In I the know. Movie. Yeah. I love how That's they awesome. zoom in on the biceps. Nope. And they're oiled up too. If you nice. notice. Right, anybody got anything else they want to see remade? Steve, you got I, no. No. Actually, you know what, what about a Knight Rider movie? <laughs> Just kidding. Nobody fucking likes that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, Joe, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Remember, a Flight of the Navigator would actually be cool. Oh, that would be really good to yeah. see. Yeah. Nicely done. I'll, I'll yeah. Leave yeah. the Matrix alone. Yeah. Oh, don't touch Wars, that. Let, let them do what they're doing. They could remake the ones that fucking Lucas ruined. What about, uh, what, wasn't that a, what was Rad? What am I thinking? Mm. Remember the movie yeah. Rad from the it's 80s? The yeah. Skateboarding? Well, no, Rad kind of, wasn't skateboarding, was it? it? Was, uh, they were car racing, was, uh, wasn't it? No, no, no. Rad was oh, that BMX bikes. BMX that's bikes. Right. Airborne was right. rollerblading. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Skateboarding was uh, they redo a rad Gleaming Rad? the Cube. I, yeah, I think you should leave those alone because that alone. Jo- that's not really even that big these days. Yeah. You know what I mean? What the fuck are they locking this ball up for? Uh, anything else? I don't know. Jay and I are just kind of looking through the top movies. Psycho's already been that's redone. Already, well, that Rear already. Window, I guess they could redo. Yeah. I think they did a TV version of it. Oh, did Rear they? Window? Yeah. What about the Goonies? No. The, yeah. So, no. They are. I think there's a rumor they're going to do a sequel to it or something like that's that. That's been rumored for a while, yeah. But... Yeah, but Leave that alone. Yeah. That's right. Don't touch that. But I could see how you could modernize it. Yeah, yeah you like could modernize, modernize it. Yeah. What about Blue Valentine? Fuck you. Nicely done, but fuck Ooh, you. Yeah, re- they could remake uh, the Blair Witch Book of Shadows movie and Battlefield Earth. <laughs> Shouldn't just never made Blair Witch 2. Just yeah. leave those by themselves. Yeah. yeah, I mean, unless they come out with more alien oh, movies. Yeah. 
Hollywood's Ooh. all about rebooting these. They were things. supposed to old do Old Boy. One. They even remade the original yes. Old Boy. Was oh, really yeah, good. Yeah. It was fucked up, and they they did it. do Old Boy. Yeah, like a uh, yeah, two years ago. It was like a Korean movie, and they remade. Yeah. Uh, it was Josh Spike, Brolin. Yeah. Spike Lee yeah. remade it. Just like the girl with the dragon tattoo movies. Those were all German movies, and they just Americanized them. That's all they. Well, did. it's because the books caught on here. Everyone wanted to see the uh, movies. Okay. The, a good remake. If you guys haven't seen it, was uh, Let Me In. Do you guys ever anybody yeah. watch Let Me In? It's uh, based off Let the Right One In. Yeah, Let that's the Right the, One In is the awesome. Yeah. version, but Let Me In is the American. The little version. girl who's the, the vampire. Uh, vampire. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. really good if you haven't seen it. Yeah. And along the lines of the Old end Boy, is the awesome. Departed, like that. The Departed was a remake of a some Asian film. Okay, <laughs> he's itching himself. Oh, what's his fucking mouth? <laughs> okay, all right. Um, that's yeah, that's all, all I, I can think. Yeah, that's okay. we're at an hour and twelve, so that's. So really, we're probably about an hour and three minutes hour here. Three, yeah. Yeah. We're good. Anything so, else we want to touch on, or save it for? We'll save it for the next. Twenty-two. One. What about lingerie that you like me. to wear just for fun? Lingerie, I like to wear just for fun. Yeah. Um. Do you put the flowers in the front or the back? <laughs> um, in the front. So when it grows, it looks like an orchid. Uh-huh. <laughs> an I put a orchid. lot of thought into it. Probably some experience. Anything too. else? If you had a labyrinth in your backyard, would you place random women in it to catch them? <laughs> Why? She's, sneaking outside to, she's sneaking outside to get alcohol. What the oh. fuck? Uh, There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Bring it in Was here. Band in the house? Oh, my God. Yeah. I don't get... Uh, I'll just say yes. Why not? Okay. Oh, listen, they haven't played the game yet. Their favorite curse word game. You see that one? You did it with Lori last week. Yeah, but he said I'm a peck. Yeah, it was hard. Oh, yeah. Like, Man, I don't up. remember doing any of that. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't right. listened to this. So we play right. a game with all of our new, you know, co-hosts and whatnot. So what is your favorite curse word, Jen? What is that? What do you think my favorite curse word is? Say it. Oh. What? Say it. Yell it. Why is many? Yell it. Like victory. Yell it. Fuck! There you go. Nice. That's a well solid done. one. That's a good solid one. All right. You've been using cunt a lot more lately, though. You're a big fan of that one. It's like a dinging noise. Yeah, it was like ding. All right, so Ashley, this is your part. What is your favorite curse word? You can say fuck if you want to. (laughs) I I think I am going to have to go with it. I think fuck is my favorite word. It's horrible because I have a three-year-old at home, and I'm really trying to censor that. It's been really Mm, Fucking complicated. It is. (laughs) No, reason. you can't have any fucking Cheerios. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck back in bed. We were walking out the door the other day, and I'm just horrible. I'm really bad about cussing in front of my kid, and I just shouldn't be. We were walking out the door, and I, my hands were full. I mean, as a mom, like, they're always handing you everything. So I've got, you know, my laptop bag, my purse, his cup, you know, all this stuff. And he's got, like, one thing in his hand. He's like, Mom, carry this. And I was like, I have all this shit in my hands right now. <laughs> I can't carry your shit, too. And he was like, I have shit in my hands, too. And I was like, oh. ah, nice. And it's like that fail moment as a mother. You're like, oh. I was like, okay, so we can't say that word. He's like, well, you did. He's like, Shit's what, a pretty yeah. solid word. He's yeah. like, what, you can't say shit? At like, least he no, didn't say, I have all this shit in my hands. Cunt. God. <laughs> God damn. Oh. That'd there's, be great. there's the one word I can't handle. I remember. <laughs> She's on the wrong podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when my brother was, well, I don't remember. My dad told me when Andy was in diapers still and Jaws was on. Mm-hmm. And it was a scene where his jaws pops out of the water. And Andy had, like, his bottle, and he's in nothing but a diaper. And he dropped his bottle and backed away from the TV. He goes, oh, shit. (laughs) (laughs) And my dad, like, looks at my mom, and he's like, you did this. (laughs) But he used it. My dad's like, you couldn't be mad. He used it in the correct, like, form. (laughs) Oh, shit. (laughs) That's where you don't know whether to be, like, disappointed in yourself or proud as a parent. Yeah. 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 What about when my brother taught your kid how to say whore? Oh, God. Nice. Applebee's. Yes. Nice. No, it wasn't Applebee's. Fuck it was, uh, yeah. What was that place? It was, it it a restaurant. It was at a some restaurant. Well, everybody knows. Look at knows. all the whores. Look at all those whores. <laughs> oh, no. Said. Well, we know that Solomon knows how to handle himself at a restaurant. Remember uh, Cole Peppers? What did I say there? We're like, we're like, this is family restaurant. Family restaurant, my ass. <laughs> 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 pretty much that same volume. I was like, pretty inebriated at like, that time, yeah. Okay. <laughs> is that a I, is that a wrap? I, that's, that's a wrap. That's okay. double deuce right there, man. That's a double deuce. Episode twenty two. All right. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, fuck, I'm losing. 
Sorry. Checking fantasy stats. Uh, okay. There you go. Solid episode. Internet gold. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad we had some participation from the female persuasion. You all oh. get green ribbons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, you a- got a look of disgust over there. <laughs> She's like, mm-mm. <laughs> I know. I'm getting it from the French Canadian over here. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right. Time to wrap it up, I guess, huh? Yeah. The Planned Parenthood moment. Yes. Wrap it up. Yeah, wrap okay. it up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you didn't hear that in the back. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Listen to some episodes. They're great. You don't want to shoot your load too early. <laughs> you want to save some for the next episode. Yep. <laughs> That's it. So you can hold your condom in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Victory! It, I, it just like makes me think of one of those, like when you buy um, toaster strudels, how they come with those little packs with the. Yeah. Ooh, I got oh, some in there. Okay. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm talking about with yeah. the. Uh, yeah. 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 Like the frosting. Yeah. The frosting, yeah. and you have the little packets, and you cut the end, and you. That's pretty much like they're like little used condoms. <laughs> hey, Jen. Good luck eating toaster strudels from <laughs> Down the hatch. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> time okay. Time okay. to go. All right. Time to go. All right. Thank you again for listening to episode 22 of the Nerdcast podcast. Not your regular dialogue. Be sure to check us out online at nerdcast.com. That's N-Y-R-D-C-A-S-T dot com. We are also on Twitter and Instagram at Nerdcast. That's N Y R D C A S T. We are also on Facebook. Fucking Google it. Uh, you can also <laughs> find us on the Inside Joke Outside Voice Podcast Network. That website is ijov.net. Be sure to check us out and all of the other podcasts that are part of that network. Thanks again. I go by the name of Toner. Big Matt. Letter J. I'm Steve. Thanks. I'm Joe Dust. Big titties in my face. Wow. But the ladies like to say goodbye as well? When the mic is up at your face, you're supposed to talk. Okay. Bye. That was was Jen. Thank you. Okay. Thanks for having me. Of course. See ya. So until next time, do whatever it is you do. Peace. See ya! Oh, the right <laughs> that gets her in the mood. <laughs> I guess so. It's like you hold up your full condom. <laughs> <laughs>
that's well My choice was to become numb and callous Cold shoulder is to grow colder with the world Oh, remember when you didn't know how to get a girl Get and turn down, now you're sick of her Since when did you get the nerve? Remember, this kid's a nerd So now that you get your click, you sure it's easy To forget the insecurities, huh? You're a tease I was being facetious The stronger of trees are deepest rooted Never deceive the peeps who believed in you, kid Leave me a tea From the past, leave me a stew Visiting you of the future to ask How late me if I met Casey, if the present is a gift Like they say, maybe it's true But it ain't the excuse for behaving shady So you turn into the person you change Or you your family You've been to baby Shame me from my baby to you Back in the day, we would be passing the daily time together. That is amazing when I consider what has been happening lately. Acting so strangely, yes, if you blame me. I remember when I was in the picture perfectly. None of this nonsense would have gone if you heard from me. Some thought you were much worse to read comics. You want a nerd to me? I'm just nervously watching what I'm disturbed to see. A grave I'm burying deeper. Is if it weren't for me and the family, my very friend's teacher and librarians either, I barely would be. The man I am today Man, I cannot say thanks enough When there are so many to count on And those you look down on Say thanks for nothing So what if they seen you grow up in For what then? You even forget them? You want to be forgiven? Why? You told yourself to hold yourself high I wrote this oath myself I hope it helps Bye Dear Malik This is the beginning of something beautiful Something greater than the two of us You knew who you were Sounds crazy as true Somewhere in there is the same me as you No, me, it's you From the past, ain't me as too Visiting you on the future to ask How late me if I met Casey if the present is a gift Like they say, maybe it's true But it ain't the excuse for behaving shady As you turn into the person you change it to your family, your friends who baby Shave me from a baby to you